Recently I did a video talking about uh, police the other day confronting the ex-CIA agents. It reminded me a case that happened in 2008 whereby a CIA agent was shot and killed by police even after identifying himself as an active CIA agent on an active case at operation at the time. Thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show. So the facts of the case are that Roland Carnaby, a CIA agent, was pulled over for allegedly speeding by Houston police. Now I've said many times, why would the CIA be in the United States? But apparently they do do operations inside of the United States, which is not their mission statement. There was some mystery surrounding the case because all agencies denied knowing him and denied that he worked for them. However, those closest to him came right out and said that he did, in fact, work for the CIA. His wife-to-be said that he worked for the CIA for 30 years, and she knew this. This was the only thing that she knew. Any other information, of course, was classified. He belonged to a legitimate national intelligence uh, group, uh, among whose members are, include George Herbert Walker Bush, and he had been seen in the company of former President Bush on several occasions. He was supposed to have known all top high-ranking intelligence officials, including local law enforcement in Houston. He was no stranger to Houston. This was not the first time that he was in Houston. Now, those closest to him said something smells fishy. They have a dash cam camera of the incident, but the incident shows them approaching a car, telling the person to step out of the car, and the person driving off. Now, here's where it gets murky. The agent in question, a Mr. Carnaby, was the law, and his closest friends say, why would he not comply with police, and why would police pull him over? Because he is the police. So something doesn't add up. Also, when they did a search of the car, they found no weapons. But when they took the car into custody after the incident, miraculously they found three weapons, two handguns and a shotgun. So the incident is that he was speeding on the highway, he was pulled over, he showed them his CIA credentials, and then the, uh, the captain said that, the local police would not know whether the credentials were real or not, and that's why he did not act upon those credentials, which, of course, is a, either a lie or it simply means that that policeman should not be a policeman. He should be uh, working retail somewhere. Anyway, uh, as per the dash cam, it spooked the driver. Whatever the police said to him, you cannot hear what the police is saying to him, and the driver sped away. Now, in hindsight, we know that the driver was a CIA agent and he had active, top secret information in his car at the time. He was supposedly trying to contact his handler because he was not just a an analyst, he actually traveled overseas and, and did top secret missions to wherever. Nobody, of course, knows because that is top secret information. When he stopped, an hour later, uh, police stopped the car and he again would not get out the car. The two police at this time, uh, one busted in the passenger window, at which point he got out and supposedly he reached for something under his driver's seat which came turned out to be a cell phone, uh, but the police, of course, said that they thought they were in fear for their life, so they shot the man. Apparently, 
uh, people reaching for cell phones don't announce that they're reaching for cell phones, especially those high-ranking intelligent and law enforcement agents. Well, of course, they would keep silent and not say, I am reaching for my cell phone. Do not shoot me. Uh, both cops in this case supposedly fatally shot him with one shot. How often do you hear that? Never. It never happens. It doesn't happen. Police have, police that I know have reported that in many cases it is almost impossible to hit somebody even at close range, even a trained policemen. Uh, guns are hard to deal with and it's not like the movies where you uh, shoot somebody uh, 10 times and all 10 shots ends up right in their heart each bullet splitting the other bullet as it's coming through. That is not the case in 99% of, of, from my information. Now there's some of you who might say, oh, uh, I can shoot a target. Yeah, you're standing still, nobody's moving. If you're in a life and death situation, supposedly, uh, it gets, of course, 10 times harder, even for a trained policeman. They don't go around shooting unless they're Rambo style police, they don't go around shooting, opening fire on people more, more often than not. Uh, the, more often than not, their gun is holstered and they hand out tickets. And this is this particular person's job. He hands out tickets, he doesn't go around shooting people and practicing at being an expert marksman. Uh, supposedly the guy is reaching underneath his see and he's obviously not staying still but uh, the guy standing on the other side of the passenger door supposedly shoots him and the guy standing in front of him supposedly supposedly shoots him one bullet f both fatal I, I don't know how that happens even and it all they were all chest wounds no head wounds chest wounds so they took the car they searched the car they took the car in but Witnesses say that the police were then uh, barricaded behind yards and yards of police tape, crime scene tape, and witnesses say that the uh, service road where the vehicle was stopped was shut down for several hours. Nobody could get in or out, and the police were being questioned uh, secretly inside of this zone of cone of silence or whatever. Now, what does this smell of other than a setup by somebody and the investigation into it has never been resolved? The CIA denied that he worked for the CIA, of course. The FBI uh, denied that he worked for them and Homeland Security denied that he worked for them. But they found credentials in his car which place him as a CIA agent. Uh, this is an ongoing mystery, one of those unsolved mysteries as to what really happened on that road in Houston, Texas. Tell me what you think and thank you for watching the Chicago Live Show.